Today we're going to demonstrate how to lean out an airflow meter. That's what this is. This is an old Robert Bosch design, the original airflow meter. Don't confuse the airflow meter with the more modern air mass sensor. This is a more of a bulky device that has a door inside that when the intake comes in it moves the door and a potentiometer finger which we're going to show you. In order to lean out the air flow meter you got to access it through this plastic cover. The cover is siliconed. All you got to do is cut the silicone. We've already done that. You cut the silicone from around the cover. Watch you don't go in too deep because then you might hit the uh, printed circuit board on here. So what we're going to do is we already cut it. We're going to pry it off. Don't go in too deep. Just lift it out and pick it up. Then we expose the interior. We're going to start the vehicle. This vehicle is already warmed up. It has to be fully warmed to do this adjustment. Oh. Okay. Once the vehicle is fully warm, that is in running condition, that's the running temperature is where it normally is. We got to go inside the the uh, potentiometer here. There's a wheel, a little gear with a coil spring, like a clock spring, that adjusts this either to the lean or rich side. That's the potentiometer finger right here. I'm gonna move it. The engine comes up. I'll let it come back down to its normal position. I'm gonna pull it the other way to lean it. See, it lean is trying to kill, starving for fuel. So this is the setting we have it at right now. This has to be checked in the cold mode too, because if you went too lean, the engine might not start. So it's a trial and error. You drive it after you set it, you let it get cold, start it up, see how it runs. You may have to go a little more richer, et cetera, if you leaned it out too much. There's a lock right in here, a little lock on this gear. You're gonna need to pull this lock back at the same time, hold the ratchet gear because you can't move it with this lock. It's hard to see that little lock. It's just a little tin finger, spring-loaded. You pull it off the gear, and then you can rotate this gear. I just rotated to the lean side. You hear the engine trying to kill. See it? I'm gonna come back up to the rich side by moving the potentiometer the opposite way. You gotta watch when you're moving this that you don't hit that with the screwdriver. Just stay on the gear. I just picked it up and just moved it to the rich side. The engine came up. It's getting a lot more fuel. So you, and the lock is locked now. You can't move that with the lock in position. So if you want to get an idea where it needs to go, you can move this finger here before you adjust it to get an idea where it's going to be. You want to get it to kind of idle down low. It's on the lean side right there. So we're going to try to put it in that position. Hold the ratchet gear with one screwdriver right here on the teeth. Pull the lock back. Move it to the, the, rich, the lean side. Potentiometer comes down. Engine is leaning out. If you go too lean, like I said, the engine's going to try to kill. You've got to get it in an ideal position. We're going to try it like that. So we're going to move the finger up. That's rich. Back to where a normal position is with the spring load on it we set. Come back down. It's too lean right there. So that could be a good setting right there. We have to drive it, see how it performs. If it performs fine, good. Let it get cold, then start it. The car has trouble starting it. Got to go back to the little rich in it a little bit. So you hit the ideal position, and all you got to do is snap this right back into position. And then you have it. Air flow meter lean out. Not an air mass sensor. And a lot of times you use the map, uh, map enha uh, uh, enhancer to set those. This right here is going to be manually adjusted.